Hello and welcome! It's time for a new YouTube video here on this channel. Let me know what you think about this intro because I'm trying to change it up a little bit and getting feedback. But anyways, we are jumping into today's video where we are doing one of my favorite things. We are actually testing out a new application. This is a first review video or first impression, not review. Uh, and uh, if you're new to the channel, I do these um, first impressions uh, videos to just show you how the application feels and it sort of gives an image of the application and whether or not it is actually hard to learn which i think is really important to figure out whether or not you actually have to spend a bit of time learning this application and it also gives like my initial thoughts on these applications as someone who has tested out a lot of them and uh, then in a couple of weeks or so I will play around with the application test it out and just uh, figure everything out and do a review so that is how uh, this is going to work this is a first impressions video and we are taking a look at Griply, which is a new like to-do list application uh, and uh, First, we are going to go over the availability of this application. So it is available on Mac OS, Windows, iPhone, and uh, on browser, um, which I am currently using right now. I'm using the web version, uh, but it is also available for both uh, Windows and Mac, but unfortunately not for Android, which a lot of applications aren't actually available for Android uh, these uh, days, but this is how the application looks. If you have tried out something like Super Lists, uh, this actually seems a little familiar. So they have an onboarding right here uh, where you can click on things and see. Uh, I just want to remove all of these and actually just start to play around with the application. Uh, so uh let's quickly try uh this out uh so a task is added to the inbox you can quickly add something to the inbox let's say i wanted to go for a walk uh a walk like this press enter and then we have a task i should be able to open this task up and i can just by clicking here because here i can add a description which is basically notes so go for a long walk, for example, for a long walk like this, and I could add subtasks here. I wouldn't have any subtasks for this one, but uh, I would have for something like film YouTube video, I would have subtasks. So if I do film YouTube uh, video, I go ahead and I open this up. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, so you have to click away, then click into it again, or press enter, then click into it again. Um, and here I would have like a uh, write script, film video, uh, film video. I can't spell in these uh, videos. Uh, and let's say I wanted to change the due date of this. I really don't like how this behaves in dark mode. Um, this is a minor thing, but for uh, people, this can be a uh, issue. Like when you have dark mode, your text should not be black. Um, it definitely shouldn't be black. And as someone who prefers to use dark mode, especially in my to do list applications, because I tend to use them at night, this is an issue. Um, so as you can see, it is, uh, or as you barely can see, it is February 2025, and I can uh, change the date here. So let's just change it to uh, February the 11th here. I can uh, add a repeat schedule. So let's say this was something I would have to repeat every day. I could do that, or every month I could choose a date. Let's say this is something that comes up the uh the 11th of each month let's try to click that and done uh, i can also uh, add it like on the first monday every month for example so that is actually a cool feature um and i can decide whether or not this shows in my habits tab right here because i have an tab for my habits that is also something i do really like in the to-do list application to have a separate place for your habits but i can 
uh, choose whether or not I want it displayed in my habits. So uh, this isn't a habit, I am just going to remove it. Uh, I can add a goal or a life area. So here I have my uh, life areas and my goals. So this would probably not fit in any of these, but I could create a new one. Let's say my goal was to become a content creator, a content creator. My life area would be work career. Uh, color is same as life area. I can add an image. I can favorite this. I can actually add a deadline here. So the goal works could be used more like a project area instead of just being a goal area. And I can actually add a uh, measure progress here as well. So numeric target start value, let's say it is a thousand and I want 5,000 like this. You could actually add it as a goal uh, or as more of a project with a deadline if I wanted to do that. That is actually something I do really like. Let's go ahead and save this. Um, in order to... Uh, congratulations, you have achieved your target. I have. I haven't. That was just a bug. Uh, so I get to see this progress right here. Uh, I really like this progress bar and I can update this. So you wouldn't need actually what I've done previously is that I've had one application for my uh, for my um, tasks and one for my goals where I get to see this right here. In this one, uh, in this application in Gripply, you don't need that. You can have both of those in one. So if you are really into goals, I think this could be a great option um and if goals is a uh, really a big part of your life i really like this i can also add action plans with tasks and sub goals so one sub goal might be reaching uh 2000 3000 and so on uh, and i could actually add an action plan here as well so uh, this is the goals page i can click on my goals and you can see all of your goals in progress i can also click in my life area and here i get a few life areas i can't actually add my own unless i go for the uh paid plan which we will get uh get into later but i have a few so love and relationship family friends education learning honestly most people won't need anything else than this unless you want customization like this works for a lot of people here i can see my active goals my completed my guess is that that is completed tasks life scan i'm still not sure what is and vision i'm also not sure what is um but i am really enjoying this like uh, habits uh, goals and life areas i have one habit already this came with the application but i can go ahead and i can add a new one so uh let's do what is a good habit exercise Exer actually let's just do go for a walk or walk it isn't spelled right, but we will just stick with it. I can't change the icon because that is a premium feature. You can choose when this is repeated. So let's say every other day I want to go for a walk, uh, show on habit, uh, reminder. I can add a reminder here if I want to. So uh, nine uh, priority, this is high. Show on habits tab, show on today, upcoming and inbox tab. I actually want this. I want to see it in my daily plan and I can actually link it to a goal. So let's try to link it to the exercise or um, what is it called? Sports and health. Let's link it here. Uh, so now it is supposed to be linked here. Let's save. Uh, and let's just go ahead and check these off. So it gives me a percentage. Can I open it? No, I can't open. I can open this, but it doesn't open like a task. Uh, and if I go into today, it actually appears in my today. Uh, so it appears once as the task I added earlier in this video. Uh, and it also uh, appears again as, um, as the uh, habit which I just... Uh, which I just added. So 
It shows me the date. It shows me the life area. Can I add life areas here as well? I can. Uh, it shows me the reminder and the priority. And I can just go ahead and I can check these off like this. Uh, so I am really liking a lot about this uh, application. When it comes to the pricing, you can take a look at that as well. So to get unlimited goals, unlimited habits, sub goals, uh, goal charts to track progress and custom life areas mobile and desktop app a great mobile and desktop app you will have to pay yearly it is 3.99 monthly it is 4.99 so it isn't the worst pricing honestly it is it is fairly priced i can't say anything else about it uh, i think the application delivers a lot of cool features for a cheap price if you compare it to something like todoist or tick tick it is at that level uh, and it offers a lot of things for that pricing if you compare it to an application because this is also really uh, goals heavy just like uh, an application like time stripe which is much more expensive they are running currently time stripe is running a uh, black friday it is called a black friday uh, offer but it has been around for a long time now but they are currently running 50 percent off and with the 50 percent off something like time stripe is 450 the USD each month on the yearly plan so this is much cheaper and it isn't as um, feature packed but it does in general uh, a lot of the same things it wants you to focus on your goals and build uh, on top of your goals but this feels more like a to-do list application um, while time stripe feels more like a goal uh, application but in general I think I think Griply is an application worth trying out. Uh, it was quite intuitive to use if you've used any to-do list uh, applications. I think this is this is an intuitive, easy to use one. So definitely worth worth a shot. So if you haven't tried that out already, I will link it down below. And as usual, I hope to see you again quite soon.